Hello everyone, Nathan Sivu here. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about an upcoming indie game called Roa, developed by Grinsoft. Grinsoft is an indie game development company that had made Wings of V, an insanely hard action platformer that I have live-streamed and made Let's Play videos of on several platforms. If you enjoy mercilessly hard action platformers that demand skill and precision timing from its players, then Grinsoft games are for you. In this game, we will join Roa as she explores her home planet to uncover an unknown danger that is draining the planet's life force. Roa will have a big open world with tons of new abilities to obtain and master. It features unique fighting game inspired combat with tons of different moves to perform. In the gameplay trailer, we see Roa acquire a tail, which I assume she obtains early in the game. I'm not sure if this will be one of her new powers, or if this will be her primary source of power, as well as her main mode of attack and acrobatic abilities. What I really like about the game Wings of V, and I assume I will also be enjoying in the game Roa, are things like the art style. I really enjoy the visuals and the creativity that's involved, as well as the music. The soundtrack in both games seem to be really spectacular. I mean, just listen to the music in this gameplay trailer right here. While some may find it frustrating to go through hardcore action platformers that lead to countless retries, this is a bit of an appeal for me. It might be exhausting, but I find it immensely satisfying when I finally overcome the challenge. You may also notice that between Wings of V and Roa, there's a certain waifu appeal to these games. It's not something that I require to enjoy a game, but I'm not exactly sad that it's there either. I'm excited to see what the final product is going to be like. I think we can probably gather from the release date of 2019 that although this game is in development, it's probably going to be a lot like what we're seeing in the gameplay trailer, although we can probably expect that there will be some changes. As an aside note, this is the first game that I'm actually quite excited for in quite some time. I don't know, a lot of newer titles, especially AAA ones, they haven't been appealing as much to me. Not that I abandoned the AAA titles, but I don't know. There's something about these indie game titles that I find really appealing, especially the ones that mimic this sort of retro-esque style type of gaming. There's a certain creativity in indie game titles that I find is lacking in more AAA titles. I mean, when you have time to do a game like this, you know, something that's probably a real passion project, you can see that there's a lot of love put into it just by the art style. But perhaps that's a topic for another video. Let me know if you're excited for Roa. And if you are excited for Roa and you have not played Wings of V, I'd highly recommend you give it a shot. I think that's about all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out the rest of my channel. I do primarily Let's Play videos, but sometimes I'll do videos like this as well. And I'll definitely be streaming and making Let's Play videos of Roa when it releases on Steam in 2019. My videos can be found on BitChute, BitTube, the upcoming nextvid.io platform, cgn.us, YouTube, and I'm also learning the ropes of DTube at the moment, so you can catch my content on there too. You can also find me live streaming on BitTube, Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Check out the links in the description so you can do all the likey and followy things. And I shall see you in the next game.